We're going to look at this molecule. We're given a structure. We know it's an organic molecule and we need to name it. So what we're going to do is work through the steps and how we name these molecules. The first thing I want to do is I want to find the longest chain of carbons I can that I can connect without lifting my pen. So if I start here at one end, if I start here, I go one, two, three carbons. So there's an option. One, two, three, four, five carbons. Or I can start counting from up here. One, two, three, four, five carbons. Remember, there's a carbon at the end of each line segment as well as each intersecting point. So I see that the longest chain I can get because I followed all possible pathways is a five, five carbon chain. And from that, I know that the name of the molecule or the base of the molecule is going to be pent for five and ane, A-N-E, for having all single bonds. Now what we have to look at is we've established what our longest chain is. Now what we need to do is number the carbons. And we can actually number them from left to right or from right to left. So I'm actually going to show it both ways. And so in red, I'm going to write in the numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, and then in blue I'm going to count in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Now notice when I was looking at my counting I never included this group up here because it was not part of my main chain. Now, I could have included it instead of this atom, but I can't include both of them in the main chain. So all I'm worried about right now is this longest chain of carbon atoms. The next thing I want to do is I want to find all my substituent groups, all my side groups. I've numbered it. Now I need to see what the identity of a substituent or side group is, and I need to look at where it is located. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to circle any groups any atoms, any parts of the molecule that are not included in the main chain of the molecule. So in this one, I only have one, and that is located up here at the top. And I see that I have one side group. So I know I'm going to have to include the name of that substituent group in my molecule. And I'm going to look for two things. One, what is the identity of that? And I see it as a one carbon group because there's nothing shown there, which means it's a carbon. And when I have a one carbon group, what I see is from a side group here. I have a one carbon group, so we use the prefix meth. And for any of our side groups that are alkyl groups, we use the ending YL. So it's a methyl group. The next thing I have to look for is where that methyl group is located. And what I want to look at is the numbering. So I have two options. I look at my numbers that are written here in red. I go one, two, three, four, five. And when I number that way from left to right, what I see is that the methyl group is on carbon two. If I look at the blue numbers counting from right to left, what I see is that the, car or the methyl group is on carbon four. Now, I want to number so that my side groups have the lowest number possible. So right now, I could call it 2-methyl or 4-methyl. But since 2 is less than 4, I'm going to use the lowest number possible, and I'm going to say 2-methyl. What we'll see in the name of the molecule is that every single substituent group always gets an address. It gets a number telling us where it's located. So when I've got my chain named, I've figured out which numbers I'm going to use and I've named and located my substituent group, now I'm able to put these pieces together and know that the name of this molecule is 2-methylpentane. A couple of things to notice in the name. One is between any number and letter, we put a dash or hyphen in there. If I have multiple numbers, I'll put commas between them. And between any letters, like here for methylpentane, there actually is no space there. So we do not put spaces between those names. 
So hopefully you understand this. If not, go back and watch it again. I'm going to go through some other examples and post them as well. And there will also be all the example problems that you all did in class. I will post those uh, and mark any corrections on them.